Hello everyone, this is the Fox Fiend, and welcome to a new series. I, I'm going to be uh, playing Regrowth, the uh, modded Minecraft. Flowers! Uh, it's a hardcore blessing mod. Self appears to Just a second. You've awoken from slumber once more, but this time things seem a little different. The world itself appears dead around you, a wasteland stretching off into the distance, starred by the skeletons of trees, accompanied only by the grey boulders. Ever more curiously, the world itself seems barren. Try as you might, you cannot find a single deposit of mineral on the ground, leaving you to wonder what to make of this world. As you look around, you wonder what it will take to, sur to survive here, and how you might help the world recover. Okay. Now, as I said, this is a hardcore questing mod. And, or mod pack. Uh, start off. First mod, let's try... Uh, not the quest. The first quest, let's try punching things. I need 10 dead wood, 4 charcoal, Seven flint. And if you want to read what the uh, what the quest actually uh, says, I'll go ahead and let you uh, play and play the mod pack yourself. It's on the FTB launcher. I'm mostly going to. Uh, who knows? I might. Uh, that's odd. Already built on seeds and don't know. Hmm. Anyways, um, I decided I wanted to uh, try doing a hardcore questing mod or mod pack, and I recently m made a, a friend who is playing this mod pack, who's also uh, recording. I'll be sure to give a link to his first episode and down in the description. Uh, but uh, point is, I kind of felt inspired to give it a try myself. I hear zombies already. Jeez, I only just barely started this world. Okay, so we just need the flint. Oh, there you are. Just burn, burn to death. I don't care about you. You get flint from slate, and you get dead wood and coal from the dead trees that you find everywhere. Basically, the the story is that you wake up to a barren world and you need to see about getting living again okay with that plus one mechanist and twelve apples okay so after that we've got such a tool and we've got grasping at straws so, let's see, I think I'm going to use this water source as a landmarker for, for myself. Because I don't think I see any other water source in the near area. Let's look at grasping at straws. We need bone meal, baldana seeds, pasture seeds, clay, and floral fertilizer. And you can get them from breaking grass. And grass. Oh, pasture seed. But I think I want to work on such a tool first. So I need wooden tool rod, wooden binding, flint axe, pickaxe, head, and sh 
Clinton show. Now, uh, one of the things is you don't make uh, your first tools the the way you normally do. Instead, you make them. Uh, let's see. Wooden tool rod. How do I do binding again? Um, just a second. Uh, let's see. Oh, I need four wooden to tool rods. If I can. Okay. And wooden binding. I bet it's. No, that's crops, which will be useful there. Uh, let's see, binding. Wooden binding. Didn't I try that? I guess not. But yeah. Uh, Let's see. Where was I? Anyways. Gonna want to see about making a... A... Uh, oh, I need two flint axes and heads. Alright. There we go. And then... I need to make flint pickaxe, flint hatchet, flint shovel, and flint mattock. Okay. So, start with let's get you, you, and you. Okay. And with that, Press your mechanist, flint sword blade, and I need to pick one of these uh, guards. I'm going to go with the crossbar. Because, if I recall correctly, the crossbar makes the darn rapier. I went on the long sword. Oh well. I only have myself to blame for not, uh, uh, looking it up in, in the first place. Let's see, you there, you there. Though I really don't want to use you, because I need an undamaged one of you for later. Okay. So, for my first structure, I'm thinking having good explosion sounds. Let's see. First structure. First home. Possibly only one. I intend to have my uh, door right there. As a matter of fact, uh, you can't make a crafting bench the normal way. How you make a crafting bench is using the hatchet, a undamaged hatchet with any type of wood. And this dead wood can, for the most part, be used like any plank. Jeez. Don't tell me night's already falling. Please. No, 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 no. Night's already falling. Ay, 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 ay. Okay. So, I may not have my. What am I talking about? I'm going to have my first structure up. I need to make 
two high walls. things probably right uh, behind me right behind me things will tear you to shreds. I know because I tried testing out this mod pack uh, once to get a uh, idea of it. Oh, frick. Break you. Break you. Alright, more material I'm gonna have to get from inside. That's okay. And yes, I'm a scaredy cat. I don't care what anyone thinks. No, I'm a scaredy fox. Ha! No, no, I'm not a scaredy fox. I'm clever as a fox! I refuse to be uh, just a scaredy fox. I'm a. I mean, why do you think I'm making this ledge? Because I'm clever. Way spiders don't get up to, uh, over my wall. Bad. Oh. Well, the nice thing about the rapier is it ignores armor. So these fallen lights. Ooh, hello, skull caller. I haven't seen you before. Okay. First, security. Let's get myself a couple, a few torches here, and light up my first home. F seven. Okay, can't spawn in here, but can spawn. Let's pull one out of the corners. I seem to be lagging a bit. Hello. Why are you not? Uh, uh, yeah. There we go. I think I'm going to be filling this floor back in. After get to daytime, because I don't like the floor being one lower than the door. Okay, safe. With all the mobs wanting to eat my face, turn off F7. All right. Anyways. So after that, got grasping at straws, which I've already completed a fair amount of. I just need three clay and three f floral fertilizer. There's interference. Something powerful would have been needed to remove all the ores from the world. Some sort of teleporting force at that. The tall slim creatures you've seen at night appear to teleport wherever they go. Perhaps they could provide some answers. So I need to kill an Enderman for that one. And I may seem crazy, but I think I can take one. Except I don't see any... What was that? 
Second, I thought I saw a charge creeper, but I'm probably mistaken. Um, I'll probably look back at the video and realize it was like one of those foreign lights. So, not that one, not this one. We've got earthly possessions, so I need 32 cobblestone and 32 dirt. I'll be going underground for that. And pattern response. Okay. Down we go. I was wanting to make my home a little bit bigger. And I probably still will. But, at this point, I've at least got a home. Sand will also be useful. Let's see. So, uh, ah, great, very broken. Fortunately, you can repair just like that. So, I would like, uh, comments, suggestions, um, feedback about, uh, how I, what everyone uh, thinks about me trying to do a hardcore questing uh, mod pack, uh, particularly um, this one, Regrowth. Let's see. So yeah. Um, okay, I think I've gotten plenty of cobble, but I need more but I need dirt. I hope I find myself in a cave down here and because that's probably the best way to get dirt. No, I'm going to go ahead and cut for now and oh, maybe not. I just found dirt. And I'm going to go ahead and make myself some more torches. Let's see. Okay, I guess I'm not cutting, since I just found the dirt. That's... which will also be very useful. So... So, yeah, I will be... I'm picking up all the dirt here, because you'll notice on the surface we didn't see much of any dirt at all, so... Sand. Slide you up. I'm fairly certain I've got enough dirt for the quest, but I want all this dirt. be honest, in this mod pack you can't have enough. Darn dire wolves. You're getting killed by a YouTuber. <laughs> Most people would, t uh, would uh, consider that an honor. Howling out there uh, is from a mob called a uh, dire wolf. Oh, good. It's day time. Let's go ahead and. I'm going to go ahead and pick marble. Thank you. And go ahead. 
10. Now I'm going to do a little bit of clearing out and be right back. Okay, back. I, uh, I took a little bit of time to uh, make my uh, area a bit larger. I also... Let's see, what else I do? Actually, not too much. Okay. Now that I feel a bit more comfortable with the room that I have, let's go on to pattern response. So we've, we've got our, our crafting table, we need a furnace. Let's plop you down, get a furnace, and I need to use some sticks and wood to get patterns. I think four sets of four should be plenty for the moment. And with that, I need a chest with a pattern. Make pattern chest. I need you with a pattern to make the stencil table. I need you with a pattern to make the tool station. Oh. Okay, and finally, there is a way to make logs. If I recall correctly, it is that. Deadwood log. And that can be used to make the part builder. And so with that, I've completed the quest, but I don't have any room in my inventory. Let's go ahead and start setting this stuff down. So first off, let's see. I want that there. I want the part builder there. I want you there. I want you there. I want to take you. And turn you into that. Put you there. And that is my basic tinkers uh, construct setup. And we go ahead and plop a whole bunch of blank patterns down in here. Let's see. One, two, three. What I'm also going to need is a couple of chests. And so I can start storing my items. And we're going to want you here. Now, I don't think there's bookshelves, you know, from, uh, I think, Bibliocraft or something. Uh, they're not in this mod, or else I had to make uh, one of those for the books I've started acquiring. Uh, let's see. Still need that. So I can finally claim this reward. Gave me a full guard pattern. Which you normally can't get. You can, you know, full guard pattern does not appear here. If it were to appear, it would appear right here, but it doesn't appear. Anyways. Okay. So that's good. I just need you. You. Say. I wonder, do we... Ah, skeleton. Poking my head up may not be the best idea. Yeah, 
about the rapier, it's not known for the best uh, strength, power, but it does get job done. Don't see an Enderman. Okay. So I think I'll go after the grasping for straws next. And this could take a while, so I'm going to cut one until I have what I need. Okay, grasping at straws, finally complete. From it we get six, uh, me, six seeds, a carrot seed, and a potato seed, as well as geneticists. Yeah, one thing uh, to mention, one thing that uh, the... Uh, this version of Hardcore Questing Mode adds is reputation. And so you can see for, me for mechanists, I've already reached nine. Geneticists, I've only got one. And Ar arcanists, I haven't gotten any yet. Uh, so, let's see. So we've got buckets of stuff. Water and pull around the world while it may be kind of dirty or murky, it does the job and will be used for farming, but you need to wait to move it around. And for a crude bucket from some of the clay you've pulled up with the dead grass. That's what the uh, three, why the three dead, or no, three clay. For an unfired bucket, and then I need to fire it. So let's go ahead and put you in here with a couple of sticks. And we've got a fire bucket. Yeah, yes, 16 bone meal, dirt, and um, and one point in me mechanist. Let's see. The line. Well, we also have flowering and not farm bill three. Some of the seeds you've grown sh should make a good start for a farm. Maybe you'll actually be able to feed yourself this way. And giving some crops some uh, growth supports is paramount to helping them gr grow properly. Need to make crops. Fortunately, making crops is easy. Do it like that. And turns out it wants me to do it three times. And then I need wheat, sugarcane, and mandrake root. Now, I've already decided that for my farms, I don't want to do them out and about above ground. I want to do them underground, and if I'm right, I should meet this, my uh, staircase I've already started. So, I'm thinking uh, of doing something here, because I don't like this big hole in, the, in my ground, in, in my floor. I'm going to quickly make myself a bunch of ladders here and let's see is it like yep like that trap doors so put trap door there the secret tray oh, I don't want it to open that way I want it to open that way. And ladders. Let's see about... Wrong place there. Okay, it worked I guess, but... Again... But the amount of ladders turned out perfect. 
just perfect for going up and down. And so with that, I can close this off. Let's see how much I can... There we go. I'm starting to feel a little bit better about, <laughs> about my situation already. Like I'm not quite stranded in a uh, barren wasteland struggling to survive. Where's my apples? I need... Seeds, potato seeds. Seeds, seeds. Okay. Well, let's go and put some of this stuff away. I'm going to go ahead and place a few more of this. And I'm going to go ahead and let my, if you want to call it mine, keep going down this way. But this way, I'm going to start making my farms. Because I like having my farms underground in a safe area. And I think it's a great idea for it to stretch all the way to into the top here. I don't know why I think that's such a great idea, but I do. Maybe because it'd be a, a lot more work to uh, to get the uh, stone required to make it look nice, and it requires smell to get all. Let's see. So anyways, my farm. Hmm. Well, I think I will have a ceiling right there. I know it just got dark. I will be solving that. Okay. There we go. A good four high. Let's go ahead and get my torches out. Okay. Now, let's see. How long is this? Starting from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Almost perfect. I need a nine by nine area. And my picture spoke. So, I'll be right back as soon as I have a 9x9 area. Okay, with that complete, the next step is to cover the floor with dirt. And with clay bucket in hand, go out, get water. Get water. Come back down and place it in the center. Now we have basic, uh, the basics of a farm net. Just to till all this. Because the water will get up to four blocks away. We'll get the entire farm area and we'll be set. Okay, and actually with that, I just realized how freaking long this video is getting. 
So, with that, I'm going to say good, uh, see you all later. Uh, see, see you in the next episode. This is the Fox Scene, signing off.